What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my part in this I see. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing this my plea, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing can for sin atone, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Naught of good that I have done, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, Precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. be reading in Psalm chapter 139 and we'll go verse 1 through 10 to see where the Lord leads today but I just want to tell you that there's nothing that can wash away your sins today like the psalm said nothing but the blood of Jesus and that's what it's going to take today uh, to cleanse you from all unrighteousness from all sin uh, there's uh, that's all it can that's all they can do it It'll wash you white as snow today. But uh, the Bible says in Psalm 139, O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit or whither shall I flee from thy presence? Uh, it says in verse 8, If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. It says, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the othermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night uh, shall be light about me. It says, ye, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Uh, the Bible says right here, and it says in verse, we'll go back up to 8. It says, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art with me. It says, if I, it says, if I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. 
Uh, if I had a thought today, I'd preach on God sees everything. Uh, there's nothing that God doesn't see you do in this life. Uh, there's nothing that God doesn't know. Uh, but uh, the thing is today, the question that I have for you, uh, God knows you and He knows what you do. But my question is, uh, do you know God today? Uh, the only way that your sins will be washed away, as I done said, is by the blood of Jesus Christ. And God knows everything that you do. He knows every sin that you commit. He knows everything that you look at. He knows everything of every person that you talk to with a filthy tongue and a filthy mouth. He knows everything about you. He knows your character from up by upside down to one the other. He can uh, plead you from all unrighteousness today. If you call on Him, He knows your uprisings. He knows your downsittings. But there's another person that knows you too. And that's Satan today. And if Satan knows you, and you know Satan, uh, you can't make it to a place called heaven. If you're living for the devil today, you will not make it to a place called heaven. Uh, but if I had a thought, God knows and sees everything. He sees what you do uh, late at night. He sees what you do uh, when you're not around others that you, uh, you may claim to be right. You may claim to be a Christian. Uh, but if you're not living a Christian life at home like you do in front of your Christian friends, you're not a Christian today. But just call on the Lord. Let Him guide you. Let Him save you before it's too late. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3, uh, starting with verse 8, it says, Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren. Be pitiful. Be cur courteous. Not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrawise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. And that was the thing about Job. Uh, the Bible says that he feared the Lord, uh, but he eschewed evil. He got evil out of his life. He, he never, I mean, he stayed away from evil. And uh, God blessed him for it. He may have lost everything. The devil asked to, uh, to take it, and he took it. He may have lost everything, but in the end, it was doubled for him. He was blessed. His own wife told him. Uh, Job's wife said, just curse God and die. He lost his friends. He lost everything that he had. And uh, his wife said, just curse God and die. Uh, but if you die in your sins, that's what you're doing. If you're living in your sins today, you're cursing God. Just call upon Him before it's too late. He already knows what you do. He already sees you. He knows your heart. You don't know your heart. The heart is, uh, is evil. The heart is wicked. Uh, but God knows your heart. He knows your intentions. Just call on Him before it's too late. The Bible says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and His ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them, that do evil. Don't be the one that the, that the Lord's face is against today. Don't do the evil things of this world. Don't let Satan take you to hell today. Don't uh, uh, live a, a life thinking you can do what you want. Uh, there's a, uh, a so-called preacher. He's not a preacher, but he claims to be uh, named Joe Wolstein. If you listen to that junk, uh, you might as well just stay in the world then. Uh, don't listen to somebody that tells you to live your life. Uh, live your best life now. Uh, you don't live your best life uh, for yourself. You live your best life when you live for Jesus. Call on Jesus before it's too late. Don't let the devil take you to hell. God sees everything that you do. God loves us. Amen. God sees everything that you do. The Bible says, and who is he that will harm you? If you be followers of that which is good, but, and if you suffer for righteous sake, happy are ye. 
and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. When you live for the Lord and you call upon His name and you ask Him into your heart, you live a life people uh, that's going to come against you. This world is against you. And uh, living in it, you don't realize it. But this world is against you. Uh, sin in this world uh, is against you and your flesh. And your flesh will take you to hell if you let it. Uh, but just call on God before it's too late. Don't die. Don't die and go to hell. God knows what you're doing. God sees you. But the best part about it is God sees you. And he, he's, he's got His arms stretched out. He wants you to call up on Him today. And if you can hear me, if you can hear my voice, and you want to call up on God today, I just come right over. Come call up on Him today. I'm not going to have you repeat some prayer. Uh, it's a personal thing with God. It's a personal relationship. Uh, when we live for the Lord and when we call upon the Lord. Uh, but if you want to come over, I'll pray with you. Just call upon God today. Seek Him while He can be found. Find Him. Search Him while He's near. God bless you. Love you all.